Hi Scorpios, welcome to your June 2018 monthly readings. Uh, so you'll have to excuse my voice if it starts like cutting out and stuff. Um, I got a really bad sore throat. Uh, yours is the last video that I got to get done. <laughs> and I just like went out of town to get these things. Uh, I had a lot on my plate that I had to get done. So it's kind of ironic there that, you know, that's when I would get sick. But anyhow, so we're going to do these similar to the way we did them last month. Life's just full of irony, people. Uh, you got to laugh. That's all you can do, really. So we have the affirmation cards to start. This is going to be what you need to know, show, and grow. Uh, those things are highly valuable. You guys seem to like it. So I'm going to, you know, until I'm going to like try to compromise here. <laughs> I enjoy these readings. I use them personally for myself. So I'm actually quite happy that... Uh, People have been enjoying them. Uh, the affirmation cards that you got, uh, I haven't seen one of them. And when it popped out, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> I don't know how to interpret it. But I never know how to interpret the cards until um, the vibration starts coming out of it. I deal with energies. So it is energies that um, it would be like a frequency, how I pick up things. It's tangible. I need something tangible to hold. It sounds weird. I got strong Aquarius. It's all right. <laughs> I stopped trying to figure things out a long time ago, and I just go with it now. Uh, so it's what you need to know, show, and grow. The affirmation cards are things you may want to say to yourself in the morning. I say may because the first card, uh, we'll see how it goes, uh, what comes through when I touch it. Because when I when I was just talking there, I just got like an interpretation of something on here. Uh, but I, I'm also getting the song Man on Fire by... Um, magnetic zeros uh, i will try to put that in the link um a link for that or the title of that song uh below but i'm um, not gonna lie i'm probably gonna forget <laughs> because i do these videos uh and then like i gotta go to work so i'll upload them later and i'm gonna upload all of them at the same time so I, honestly I, like i'm probably gonna forget to um write that down but it's uh man on fire by magnetic zeros and I'm also hearing uh, their song, Home. Because when I looked at Hope, I, like the H stood out and Home came through. So, uh, yeah, those two songs you might want to listen to. I actually like that band. They're, they got a very uh, old school sound to them. Very soulful. Okay. So the first card you got is I Am Man. Okay. Second card you got is I Am Present. And then you have I Am Hope. Okay, uh, the I Am Man card, like when that came out, I was like, oh boy. <laughs> okay, so what I'm getting with that, uh, besides that song, uh, Man on Fire. Okay, one, if you're a female, you may be coming off too masculine. Uh, which means, like, okay, you may have gone through some things, uh, or you emotionally when you're unbalanced you get very um harsh like a man all right like in what i see for the man is like okay basically what i'm getting people <laughs> with i am present i am man and i am hope okay your perception of seeing things needs to change so that is like um instead of seeing yourself as male or female you need to see yourself as a human we are in the time of Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, and uh, that's about humanity, okay? Not uh, sexual, sexual orientation. It's also a time when women are going to uh, stand up and get their power back. And by power back, it means, like, uh, they're not going to be limited, all right? So you can kind of see that in society now with women uh, being able to fight in the militaries, okay? That wasn't allowed before. Uh, you have the High Priestess that came out. Okay. Uh, see, what I'm getting is you need to see yourself as a human. Because whether you're male or female, okay, it's not wrong for you to have mas masculine attributes if you're a female. Okay. It can be seen as you're a bitch when that happens. And part of my language, if somebody gets offended by that, but... For a female when she's a bitch it's uh all of the uh 
uh, attributes that a man would have when he's being progressive, like he's moving forward in life, when he's assertive, when he's getting things done, when he's no nonsense, when he's a uh, superior, so a boss, you know, a leader, okay? When a woman takes on all of those attributes, she's, she's looked at as a bitch. So sometimes you do have to have masculine. Uh, you can't see being a bitch being a bad thing, okay? If you're a bitch all the time, then something's wrong, okay? If you're uh, being a bitch, <laughs> sorry for swearing again, at uh, specific times, because that's what you have to do in order for you to be assertive, okay? Then that's pretty much what being a bitch is, is just being assertive, okay? I mean, there's a fine line, because some people... Okay, if this card's coming up and you're a female and you're, you've got masculine attributes all the time, something needs to change. Okay, you need to get in tune with, with your feminine side, which means that you're protecting yourself in some manner. I'm also seeing a man here who's lost. Oh, it's so sad. Somebody who lost somebody. Okay, and this is coming through as this person would be on the other side telling you with... I am hope that they are watching you, okay? And hope is uh, a powerful, powerful uh, manifestation tool, okay? It's also powerful for change, okay? Going back to the time of Aquarius, age of Aquarius. It's a big changing time for everybody, even men. Men are going to be allowed to be more feminine. And nothing wrong with that. We all have to be humans. And to be a human means that you're not just one specific sex. It's not being male. It's not being female. Okay? It's also like that story. Oh, do you remember like um, uh, the whole twin flame thing? People can take that out of hand. <laughs> Soulmates, twin flames. Okay? Uh, twin flames originally, everybody's like, oh, I got a twin flame. Twin flames are here to uh, produce something into reality, manifest something into reality. They are two souls that are the same soul, okay? And there was no sex associated with them. Some twin flames, it, the story goes that they were one human and they were cut in half because they were too powerful. They couldn't be controlled. So they were cut in half. They're the same soul and they were separated. Some of them were the same sex. Some of them were opposite sex, okay? So like, but the purpose of twin flame union is because they have something to bring into the world, that is going to be like it's you're able to create it so it has healing powers for the world it's something big and not everybody is here a twin flame relationship is really extraordinarily rare okay that that's rare it's not as popular as people think it is okay so they might be confusing their twin flame with a, a like a soulmate it's a soulmate not everybody is here for a twin flame okay that is like a mission given to two people okay that is extraordinarily hard to do and they would have extraordinarily hard lessons to learn in life before they could come together all right like uh, because the purpose of the twin flame union is to create here on earth uh and not on a small level it would be like uh it would have a major impact on society okay that's twin flame union they're powerful together they, they, they they're more it would be like a power couple times like a hundred okay they accomplish things uh to heal the world okay i mean and that's that's a pretty big um mission in life to come down and do but again going back to humanity you're human okay if you're male uh part of being human means that okay you're coming off too masculine you have this whole macho mentality Okay, and that's not doing anything but harming you. You need to be present. That means that you have to accept your emotions and your feelings. Okay, that means that you have to accept that you're sensitive and show it. But you have to be quite strong in order to show that. If you're female, okay, well then this means that you need to also be more masculine. Okay, like, uh, which would mean that you need to take charge and be assertive. And again, going back to sometimes you may need to be a bitch so people don't walk all over you. You don't want people walking all over you and taking advantage of your kindness, Scorpio. You're kind whether you're male or female, okay? The high priestess came out with the chariot. There's secrets here that are being avoided. There's something that you're not uh, willing to see, okay? Uh, the high priestess is hidden knowledge. It could be a woman. If you're a man, you could be dealing with a woman. She would be... Uh, I always get the city of Atlantis uh, in this deck. 
you can kind of see like this little city back here. So that's like hidden knowledge, right? That's a society that was built uh, that had hidden knowledge. Ooh, you got the magician and the ace of swords that also popped out. So what you need to grow is your manifestation ability. Okay. And your manifestation ability uh, is going to grow through truth. All right. Secrets is not going to help that grow. Manipulation, not going to help that grow because the negative aspect of the magician would be manipulation. Okay. You need to come from the positive aspects, not the negative aspects. Okay. And manipulation comes in many forms. It could be like manipulating yourself, lying to yourself about past hurts. Think like you, you need to grow your hope. Okay. Hope was in Pandora's box. And why was it placed in Pandora's box? Because it was a brutal weapon in society. You, you remove people's hope. You remove their faith. That means you remove any chance of things changing, of growth. Okay? Hope is quite powerful. That's what helps people stand up and have a revolution. Okay? Stand up and fight back in society. That's what makes people um, fight for causes. It's hope that things are going to change. Hope that things are going to get better. Hope is quite powerful. Without it, then there's no manifestation. Okay? Things are just... Uh, stale and stagnant okay it's like you need to have hope for some of you females that you're gonna find what you're looking for okay and man on fire that's a really good song okay so that could mean like you're not looking for um the usual type of love scorpio okay and the cards are saying to have hope that you'll find that in the future though okay the High Priestess is hidden knowledge, Scorpio. You could be given this this month, all right? Um, through spirit, uh, you know, uh, through a specific person even. They could have uh, Taurus or Cancer in their chart. Doesn't mean it has to be like their sun, moon, or rising. It could be a significant placement, okay? Like um, the asteroid P-A-L-L-A-S. I'm not going to say that because I say that wrong. <laughs> That's a significant uh, asteroid. Okay, uh, also houses. So they could have a lot of uh, planets in the house of Cancer or in the house of Taurus. They could have a significant asteroid placement in the one that I said in one of those signs, even Pisces. Okay, you might want to research those types of things. It's hidden knowledge uh, and wisdom. Okay, she's a woman that holds it and doesn't reveal it to everybody. She doesn't reveal her sources. Okay, like. Uh, if she's given information, she, you can kind of see that she has the cross on her, on her chest there a little bit. She has the moon. She knows what's hidden. She will not tell people what she knows. Okay. Because with great power comes great responsibility. Okay. Cause you can cause harm with great power. All right. You could like, again, with the hope, you can remove people's hope with power. Okay. Or you can give them hope. You have the six of uh wands that came out it's funny merlin when merlin goes and talks to the dragon <laughs> okay because you have the high priestess in there that's why i'm thinking about merlin and the man uh okay merlin uh, uh king arthur the movie you might want to watch that because we are in a leo aquarius time frame right now uh which is um to me, the way I uh, perceive that, and I do have strong Aquarius in my chart. <laughs> so uh, I'm a little weird, or how my mother says, because I just got like, I just got told off by my mom about using the word weird. <laughs> she says to use the word unique. So uh, Aquarius can be unique, okay? Uh, with the Leo and Merlin, it's like there's a battle at play in society right now. Of, of like magic and, and righteousness and um, true morals uh, and values being brought, being brought back to society. Okay, there's a battle at play uh, even in the hidden realms. Okay, because with Merlin, that's magic. Okay, and the, in, in, if you know that story, uh, society doesn't know about magic. They remember stories about it, but Merlin has to do his, um, his magic... Uh, he, he was a good magician. He had to do his magic behind. I don't. If you're a Scorpio, do not do magic. All right. There's cost with magic. All right. It will backfire on you, and you will sway towards um, darkness without even realizing it. You may think you're light, but once you start doing stuff like that, then you, you're 
you're swaying because you're trying to um, break free will and the universe life God okay we all have free will they do not interfere in that you have temperance here which is an angel okay uh, if you ever seen that show touched by an angel okay in touched by an angel the angel comes down again with free will and um, shows them uh, shows them what um, from an outside perspective it kind of like places a mirror in front of the people it shows them what they were like how they reacted uh, how ungrateful they were how um, unhappy they were uh, how happy the people were around them to have them in their lives and how ungrateful they were for that okay but the angel in touch by an angel doesn't tell them that they show them it all right it's shown to them because free will is there and then the person must make the choice on a uh, on a conscious level not an unconscious level on a conscious level with free will they must make the personal choice to make the changes for themselves okay and that is how they will be judged all right and second chances always are given okay spirit realm whatever they 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 don't judge you you're human humans make mistakes you're here to experience things okay you can redeem yourself at any point you do have a guardian angel though which is uh quite weird scorpio okay and it's kind of like you have a oh, card flipped you got the eight of pentacles great card you guys you you got um being victorious at anything you want to go for you got to have the hope back though okay uh also like with this angel that you have it's weird it's coming across as the dragon in merlin <laughs> so it's kind of like um you ever go like if you watch merlin he goes to the dragon for advice and counsel because he doesn't know what to do he's lost at some point in his life and the dragon gives him advice and merlin always walks out and he's like he doesn't know how to interpret it and he doesn't necessarily like he knows a timbit of it but he doesn't know how to apply it okay or like the dragon will give him foresight and say this is gonna be what plays out but it doesn't make sense to merlin in in the manner uh or when it's being spoken okay until the scenario plays out and then merlin realizes at that moment and sometimes it's afterwards to uh what the dragon was talking about okay and it, if if things happen in that manner for you okay it's it's just the universe trying to give you a level of awareness but you still have to go through the experiences and you must with the angel okay you must use your own free will that's why you're not given that knowledge to actually change the si situation or manipulate the situation into your favor or have the foresight and know what to do beforehand okay because free will needs to be at play it, it, you you have to decide on your own nobody's gonna make that choice for you that's a decision personally that you make yourself okay your solar plexus could have some importance too and that came up for somebody else this month leo it was leo because <laughs> sort of truth all right the sort of truth i associate with leo they have a pure heart all right this is this is like healing your heart it needs to happen here with hope faith renewal okay and the aquarius energy that i got the, the ascension energy uh, that is um, you guys are gonna be highly sensitive okay and with energy and when I say energy I believe in energy uh, okay we all come from the universe we're made up of stardust and all sorts of particles and things from um, the universe uh, energy from the universe that lives within us okay when we when we pass on those energies are still active they're just not in a physical form they're now out in the ether and when they're in the ether we can receive that energy we can interpret that energy and with temperance being sag okay the planet jupiter gives off radio frequencies okay it it, it, it has a lot of um energy to it okay and you can hear these energy frequencies on an am station all right they'll cut in and they'll cut out okay it sometimes it's like two minutes of silence and then you'll hear like high-pitched sounds because okay, it's frequencies are being heard okay so you're going to be able to tune into people like a radio station okay and it's not just people in the here and the now it could actually be energies that are out in the ether your guardian angel somebody protecting you 
okay, you're going to be able to be receiving like, like a radio, um, like radio waves from these energies that are out there, protection and guidance somehow um, for your victory. This is what you need to know. Okay, I am man, the high priestess, and the six of wands. You're going to be victorious. You're going to have power. You must use it appropriately, though, Scorpios. There's some things in life, um, okay, great power comes great responsibility. But there's some things that you know that, you know that others don't need to know. Okay, this is a woman who... Um, if you tell a secret to, she keeps your secret. Okay, like she doesn't give it out. She holds a lot of information in her. Okay, and it's hidden information like the scripts of the unknown. Okay, she's not going to give that out. She's not going to tell people what she knows. That you may have to protect that. Okay, the, because there's an innocence towards you. All right. What you need to show is I am present. That's 24 hours. When I get present, that's 24 hours. Also, there's a saying in Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> I'll try to, I'll try to find the the clip of that. Uh, I like that movie. I actually love that movie, you guys. It's like the first one. It's where the panda goes to the turtle, and the turtle um, tells the panda that he needs to focus more on the present. I don't remember the exact uh, quote or words. Uh, and the panda's kind of like being all like Debbie Downer, <laughs> and. Pardon me for a second. And what ends up happening is the turtle tells him you got to stay focused kind of like on the present. And the present is a present. It's a gift. All right. Being able to be alive is a gift. The present, the here and the now, the 24 hours that you're given, that's a gift. Because you don't get more time and you don't get your time back. Like, like. You don't know when your time is, all right? So the present is an actual gift, a present. It's a present. Being alive is a present. That's a gift. You must appreciate that, okay? So for whatever goals, whatever it is that you want to fix, it could be a relationship, you know, with a parent, with a family member, okay? Well, with temperance, then forgiveness must be given to those people and into yourself, all right? And it, it means that, you have to take the actions and mend it, okay? In 24 hours, one step, like it's one thing that you can do to get you one step closer to that goal, to, to whatever it is that, that you want to heal, okay? With hope that is healing, whatever it is you want to work on. 24 hours, just one thing. Whether that you can read one article, even if you don't know how to forgive, read one article on uh, about forgiveness, okay? Uh, to try to help you mend that. Doesn't mean that you have to go for, if, if you have a, a issue with a mother, a father, a sibling, uh, or a spouse, doesn't mean you have to go and forgive them right away, okay? You may need time to process things, okay? And and uh, learn and teach yourself how to do that, okay? If you've dealt with loss, okay, well then this, there's a man or a woman that is in the spirit realm that will protect you and guide you, okay? That, that's what I'm concerned about is like with the chariot card, first of all, that's your card. So you want to ensure that things, you take it in to get tuned up. Uh, if you're going on an adventure or a trip, you want to ensure that your car, uh, you know, is oiled up properly. You have enough gas, your insurance papers are with you. Okay. If you're buying a new vehicle, uh, you want to background check it, take it for a spin, ensure the contract's correct. Okay. There could be some hidden details. Or your car could break down. Okay, I used to see the city of Atlantis in here too. You see that? And there are no one to be in the water. Okay, so the water could be uh, highly beneficial for you. Okay, and I say this, I state this a lot. Um, with water, there's electrons in water. Okay, and with salt, that act, salt acts as a conductor for the electrons. Okay, which can create a pretty powerful arc. It can also um create renewable energy. In the Philippines, they use this for little lanterns. They last about, I think, approximately anywhere from like, it's either 30 minutes to an hour, okay? But it is a renewable source of energy. But it just, I give that as an example to show you how powerful water is, okay? And it has electrons in it. So water can protect you. 
uh, if you're being psychically attacked, okay? Salt baths are really good for you, okay? That's why I'm near the ocean. I, like, work on an island as well, too, surrounded by the ocean. Like, that I didn't plan. <laughs> that just happened. I'm not even going to lie, people. Uh, I am a Sag with the Sag Mercury. Sometimes they can be, like, they're very, they're not la da They can be oblivious, though, sometimes, because they're in their own little world. All right, and I got strong Aquarius, so I'm definitely in my own little world. I didn't realize I worked on an island for like three months. I mean, that's pretty freaking sad, right? Like, but the water will protect you. Ocean will protect you. So I kind of like had a pretty good laugh about that. Where it's like, good on you, universe. <laughs> I'm sure people think I'm like a crazy person. I don't talk out loud to the universe, but I do laugh out loud um, because I see the irony in life, right? Because when I realized that, I was like, huh, well, that's like a, a pretty funny personal joke that the universe played on me. I did not see that coming, you know, like, you have the sort of truth here, okay? With the chariot, it's like you can't, you can't avoid emotional issues. You have to deal with them. So, like, with the hidden, with the high priestess, it's like deep-rooted hidden emotions that may be on an unconscious conscious level are affecting you on a day-to-day -day basis, are affecting your success, are affecting you your masculine masculine traits okay like you when you're hurt you can be overcompensating and becoming off too masculine which is going to give you the opposite effect of what you actually want uh because if you're coming off too masculine well then you're dominant right like nobody wants to be with somebody that's dominant they're they're pretty ruthless you know what i mean like you gotta have compassion you gotta have both you know where uh or you could be dealing with somebody that's pretty ruthless, all right? But so, again, going back to I am present, dealing with emotions, couples counseling. Even if you're in a healthy relationship, uh, you know, I would advise going to counseling. Uh, it prevents problems beforehand. It, it has a, you get a mediator, okay? It could be this person here, the high priestess. A mediator, okay? She deals with emotions and feelings and stuff like that. She can see what's hidden behind the veil, all right? So she can help you if you go to counseling and you find this person, she can help you to um, learn how to verbally express your, your emotions towards each other to prevent problems from occurring before they actually happen, okay? It doesn't mean that you'll be going to counseling your whole life, but it will just help you guys communicate in a proper manner, okay? Again, with I am present, temperance, and the chariot, this is talking about making movements and steps to align the yin and the yang energy, your masculine and feminine, okay, how, in, in, in healing relations uh, with whatever it is you want to heal, all right, whomever it is you want to heal, but it's, it all depends on you, all right, what you need to grow is, I am hope, you have the magician and the eight of pentacles with the ace of swords, so this is truth, okay, and it came out with the magician, so if you manipulate situations, what you need to grow is not doing that, but actually speaking up for what you want and not manipulating, okay? Because, it again, like witchcraft, it will backfire. Always backfires, man. Always backfires. And it'll it, when you start getting into a habit of manipulating to get what you want because you, you realize, oh, it's working, well, what's going to happen is eventually that's going to all build up as into karma and then backfire in, like, one big force. Like, one big, like, bam, tower moment. <laughs> And you're going to be sitting there like, what? I didn't see that. Like, I don't understand. Like, this has always worked for me before. Well, yeah. Okay. News, news flash. <laughs> I've seen you like, like, uh, one of those things coming across the screen when it's like news flash. All right. FYI. Okay. Going back to, uh, the, um, touch by an angel. All right, that's when the touch by the angel moment will happen. The universe will come in with a little angel and be like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, like, I'm seeing like wings flapping here. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna show you uh, how it goes. If you know the show, you'll know what I'm talking about. How when the angel comes down, the person's died, they come out of their body, and then they, they like experience their life from an outside perspective, and then they get to see, okay, I understand now, and then their free will kicks in. What are you going to do? The angel stands there and goes, what are you going to do? Do you realize your faults? Okay, because if you're always pointing your finger out, like, they did this, they did that, but really, it was in Touch by an Angel, it was the person themselves that was doing it, 
you know, I got strong Scorpio in my chart too. So, you know, it's my Saturn actually. And I always highly recommend Scorpios that you watch your Saturn sign and your North Node sign. Okay. Because your Saturn is your lessons. Okay. That's the lessons that you've come here to learn. All right. I got Aquarius, Mars, and Venus, and I got a Saturn uh, Scorpio with a self node Scorpio and a Pluto Scorpio. That's a pretty, that's, that's, that's a personal joke that the universe played on me. <laughs> Because the Aquarius Venus is like, you got to be detached, all right? And not because they're cold or whatever. They understand human emotions, okay? They're really good psychologists. But then you get the Saturn uh, Scorpio, which is like, but here you go. You've got to feel your whole way through life. Your lessons are feeling. So that, that's two contradicting energies for me, okay? But your lessons are going to be different. So wherever they are, your Saturn placement, I would advise watching that. Your North, north Node is your destiny. It's where you're heading towards. So it's also um, very important that you would watch that too, because like whatever your whatever hiccups or whatever wall you're hitting, that, that that'll be in your your north node sign. Okay, for me, my north node's in Taurus. All right, like and that's you know going from a Sag to a Taurus energy. Like you're destined to be like have that Taurus energy there. It's also very conflicting. <laughs> You know what? And I like I've met a lot of Tauruses in, in throughout life, and I know like every astrologers have their own perception um, out there of stereotype Taurus. Okay, every Taurus I met, I honest to God, I think they're Aquarians when I first meet them. They're they're so unique or a Gemini. Their speech is really fast. They're quite um, funny and funky. All right, and they're in their when they're operating at their positive. Yeah, sure, they are stubborn, but they're individuals, man. I'm like I give Taurus props where. Got a lot of respect for Taurus. For I think they're misunderstood. <laughs> just like you. It's funny because it, that is your your opposite sign. I, I just realized that. Okay. But what you need to grow is I'm Hope, the magician, and then the Eight of Pentacles. You gotta work. You gotta work on yourself. You gotta create the reality that you want. It's all up to you though. It's not. It's not gonna be handed to you. Sometimes things. You know, people have that saying that things aren't gonna fall on your lap. Well, you know what? You've got temperance here. <laughs> temperance will prove that wrong because it's a Jupiter energy, Sag energy, and, you know, they have good luck. Things fall on their lap. Okay, it's the action that you take, though, once it falls on your lap. Are you going to take it or are you not going to take it? Okay? Like, that that's what it comes down to. But you have Jupiter and Scorpio. So, again, this is, like, one of the best times of your life. It's going to be fabulous. It's like a roller coaster, though. You're going to have a lot of ups and downs, and that's just life. Okay? There's no up without down, no down without up. There's no happy without sad, no sad without happy. You know, there's no good without bad, no bad without good. You need them. They're lessons. Okay? Like, we'd be walking around, like, really numb if we didn't have opposites. You know? Like, we wouldn't experience things. But your manifestation ability is quite strong this month. And that depends on your hope. You have to get your hope and your faith back. Okay? Uh, meditation is really important to you. And getting out there in nature. You know, like, maybe you have strong Aries or Virgo in you. If you have strong Virgo, well, it's very important. Virgos are like the shamans. Okay? Uh, it's very important that they get down to earth and they're out there in nature. Okay? When they're not in nature, they can get very uh, grumpy. Okay, and very like on edge too, emotionally off balance, you know, like uh, I got a Virgo rising, so I always make sure and I live in a uh, area where there's lots of mountains and the ocean and that's stuff that's important to me. I love to live in other areas too, you know, because where I live is quite expensive, but the, your, like, I enjoy the, the, the benefit for me is the outdoors. So that is my sacrifice. I will sacrifice uh, accommodation. Or, or like a lifestyle to have the outdoor lifestyle, okay? Because to me, it's more important to have uh, nature surround me. Uh, that calms me and soothes me, okay? What does that for you is going to be different, all right? But your manifestation is due to you, all right? And it's going to take time and, and patience, all right? And forgiveness is needed with yourself and with others, it's so to mend relationships, uh, you have to put the effort in, okay? And with I am man here, again, for you men, you have to learn to tap into your more feminine side with the high priestess here. Some of you have achieved that, 
Okay, and that's pretty it's pretty great. And by being present, you will be able to achieve that. Okay, and by being present is if you, when you have an emotion or a feeling, stepping back, evaluating, why did you have that reaction to it? And then evaluating that, try, like from a psychological human behavior aspect. Okay, what triggered that? Why did you feel like that? What, what did you sense? Okay, and then heal that. You want to heal that within yourself. All right, you guys, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, hopefully this helped you out. It's a little bit of a weirder reading for you Scorpios. <laughs> It's a full moon in uh, Sag today. This is the 29th. I am a Sag sun. Uh, it could be because of Jupiter being in Scorpio and I'm doing Scorpio. Like I am able to, to tune in deeper, I guess, just specifically for you guys. Um, some other people got some pretty harsh readings. <laughs> and I always worry when I have to get serious in a reading because I have a Sag Mercury that I'm going to be way too blunt. All right. And that's in, that's in, um, Western astrology, astrology, Vedic astrology, I'm um, completely different signs, right? Everything bumps back one in Vedic astrology, okay? Uh, maybe you want to study Vedic, Vedic astrology. You want to see things from a different perspective. Because in Vedic astrology, I am a Scorpio. Regardless, I watch Scorpio because um, my Saturn's in Scorpio. And, and then in Vedic astrology, I'm a Scorpio. So, you know, either way, I feel like I'm hitting the mark when I watch a Scorpio video. <laughs> Just in case, but I do watch it because of the Saturn placement, all right? In Western astrology, that's my Saturn placement, so my lessons would be there. Highly important to you. It's like pieces of a puzzle being put together, too, with the High Priestess. You want victory, you got to take the action, and you have like a horseshoe here, almost. It's shaped like a horseshoe, okay? And he's looking up at this card, and this card, he's looking away from the moon. So you got to focus on deep-rooted issues here, Um in order to manifest and see the truth of the situation. And this is also like, reminds me, um, the ring reminds me of uh, the movie Lord of the Rings. Okay, because when you put that ring on, okay, uh, Frodo, I think it was Frodo, uh, Frodo was given that ring because he had, he had um, the ability to have the strength and the courage uh, to resist it. Every time he put that ring on, he was swayed to the dark side. Okay, so you want to ensure that you're working for light here and not dark. Okay, don't be tempted by um, things that are shiny. Okay, or if you're looking for a partner, you don't want to be looking for a partner that it has to do with aesthetics. Okay, because at the end of the day, looks fade and all you're left with is personality. Okay, because I've met some uh, really beautiful people aesthetically on the outside and the devil lived within them. <laughs> And then I've met some people that others may perceive them as ugly, but they were the most beautiful souls and beautiful people I've ever met. All right. And that's more attractive to me than looks are, you know, like, so you want to, you want to focus on internal issues here with the, the chariot. It's internal issues. Okay. All right, you guys, hopefully that helped you out. Namaste. And I will talk to you next month. Ciao for now.